Thank you, Zoe. It's by Yahoo Answers user Rhesus who asks, is it possible to ask a question without using a question mark? What do you think? That's a question mark. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, is it? No. It's a question well, mark. Uh, Tell me now the name of your dad. No, that's no, that's uh, uh in, in, in 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 that's a declare that's a um not declarative a pejorative uh, no demonstrative deformative a deformative no it's when you give an order what is your imperative well, let me try this imperative. let me try this what is your dad's name I want to know how about oh how about this remind me of your dad's name that's a, that question a question mark, mark? yeah uh um no it's not but it's also but, an imperative. I mean, Travis put one in with this inflection, but... What is your dad's name? <laughs> Let me try again. What is your dad's name? <laughs> <laughs> or what about this? What about this? What is your dad's name? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay, what if you went with this? And your dad's name is... Oh, Ooh. I see. That's fun. Until they <laughs> interrupt you or you pass out. <laughs> Or you, what about this? Dad's name, go! My dad's name is Regis, and I would like to know yours. <laughs> For example. See, then I it's not then it's not an imperative. Then then it's like open ended. They can they I don't listen, I could give a damn. Tell me your dad's name or don't. Whatever. No skin off my balls. <laughs> okay, I think we <laughs> Is it possible to ask a question without saying no skin off my balls? <laughs> uh there's four different types of sentences, right? Right. There's statement or just or declarative, right? Right. There's the the question. My dad's name. Let's uh, as long as we're as long as we're grammar girling. Let's do it. My dad's name. Well, my dad's name is Regis. My dad's name is Earl. Yeah, but how can you ask? Okay, using the first sentence type of statement, you could you could ask a question with a statement. It doesn't have okay, to be. Okay, I would like to know what your dad's name is. That's good. Uh, I don't. I, I don't know your dad's name. <laughs> I've never met your dad, but I, I don't, want to. You have to say I don't know your dad's name and then stare at them expectantly. Right. That's sure. important. I don't know your dad's name, and that's your fault. Question that's obvious. Uh, a command, right? Dad's <laughs> name dad's now! Dad's name on three! Dad's Tell me the name of the dad. dad. Your dad's name. Your dad's name. Dad's name or he dies. No, it has to be command. Oh, like, sorry. That's... Give me the name of the dad. Give me the name of the dad now. <laughs> give the dad's name to me. Stop. Sir. St stop stalling. <laughs> <laughs> Stop stalling, McLean. Tell I'm me your dad's name. Ready for the name of the dad. I've waited long enough. Slake my thirst for your dad's name. Let me die. <laughs> Read the sweet release of death and tell me the name of your dad. I am a genie, and the only way I can become gin is with the command word as the name of your father now. Please, yes. In this show, yeah. you need to name your dad. Griffin, that was declarative. You So you <laughs> fucked up. Hold on, wait, what, what were we first? doing? The last, that was command, the last type- Your dad's name so I may become Jin. <laughs> Shazam! No, that's not a command, because now we're on the exclamation- Give me the name of your father so I may become Jin. No, exclamation. I need Jin. an exclamation that- <laughs> well, I have has been a cursed a for curse. a million centuries by <laughs> Alibaba. Declarative, declarative, declarative. Declare. Not an exclamation. I have been cursed for a million centuries <laughs> by Alibaba. <laughs> That's a statement. That's a question. That I was a statement. Did Alibaba curse me until I knew your dad's name? <laughs> he did. He did, in fact. <laughs> Arabian Nights. <laughs> I'm Jin. <laughs> Kazam. <laughs> The only way I can make it rain burgers <laughs> is if you tell me your dad's name. I'm Jin. Like, I don't know, Shaq. We read through the script. I think we're going to have to take another pass at this. There's not a single question mark in the whole thing. <laughs> There's not any E's either. Check it out. <laughs> so I, how about instead of all the parts where you're yelling at the boy to tell him his dad's name, um, you do some rapping. <laughs> sounds, sounds, good to me. sounds very good. <laughs> uh, so you guys are struggling with this one exclamation um, the article that I found to remind me of this because I'm 34 um, it ends with an exclamation part and it makes a statement with emotion there are three examples that they have offered here here are the three examples of an exclamation I can't find the butter the Tyrannosaurus Rex was huge I love this movie 
<laughs> it's a cool Wait, day. is that all the same idea? That's a, uh, that's like, a cool day. I, I want some more popcorn from the concession stand. That that Tyrannosaurus was huge. I love this movie. I Where want to see butter? Jurassic World again. I love your dad, but forgot his name. <laughs> I'm so frustrated that I don't know your dad's name and you can help. Kazam! <laughs> It's been too long since I've seen Kazam. Also, what's your dad's name? That's a question mark. I want to watch Kazam with your dad, but don't know what to put on the invitation. I can't remember the name of the movie Kazam. Fuck! <laughs> I fucked it up because I'm dead right there at the end. Is your dad's name Kazam? No, question fuck. mark. Um, Man, we're bad at this. What if we did a new podcast just called Boy School, and it was the three of us, and we just tackled stuff like this? I think that's a hit. I'm never going to forget this. No, I this won't forget this either. Um, this is good for your kids. It's Get good for kids. kids. It's good for adults. Something. No, your kids are actively learning about this stuff in school. Kids are currently learning about how to inquire about people's dad's names in all kinds of really fun and funny ways. And the history of Kazam. And the history of Kazam. Um, uh, but the adults have forgotten it. That's why that horrible Jeff Foxworthy show is still on the air. Can you believe that? Um, mm hmm uh, so, yeah, I think we spin that up. I think Boy School Episode 1, uh, I think we save we it for Sweet Sweet. It. Print it. Print it. Put it on a t-shirt and sell it.